There's now speculation that Britney Spears and her husband Sam Asghari have decided to take a break. There was a bit more evidence for this one because both of them were seen without their rings and Britney was spotted hanging out with an unidentified man in Puerto Rico over the weekend. She was photographed at Starbucks in the beachside town of Dorado wearing a black off the shoulder dress. Both of them were standing next to each other while looking at the menu and they were acting pretty casual. The man was later confirmed to be a member of her security staff. As for Sam, he brushed off speculation that their marriage was in trouble. His rep explained that the two of them are not experiencing marital issues, despite the fact that they are both ditching their wedding bands. He claimed that his client has just taken off the ring because he was filming a movie at the time. While it's unclear what movie he's filming, he did announce in November but that he landed a role in a television series called Lioness. He shared a photo outside what appears to be a film set on his Instagram story, as well as a selfie on a plane with his wedding ring on display. This is likely the reason that he didn't join Britney on vacation, because he was just busy working. Meanwhile, Britney seemed to be living it up in Mexico with her manager and longtime friend Kate Hudson. They posted several photos on the beach together and even a video where they were grinding on each other and getting very close. But that's absolutely nothing to worry about because the two of them have been best friends for decades. Kate has always been a really private person on social media, but we do know that he's been in Britney's inner circle for years. Back in 2014, he was seen giving her a kiss on the cheek. In 2015, they were photographed dancing together and in 2017, she was spotted at his birthday party. He started working as her manager after her former manager, Larry Rudolph, quit. This would have been a major deal considering that he had worked with her for 25 years. He released a statement at the time saying, I was originally hired at Britney's request to help manage and assist her with her career. And as her manager, I believe it is in Britney's best interest for me to resign from her team as my professional services are no longer needed. I wish Britney all the health and happiness in the world and I'll be there for her if she ever needs me again, just as I always have been. Because he quit the exact same year that her conservatorship ended, the timing seemed to be a little strange and fans were pretty shocked at his decision. But it was most likely just about his plans to retire rather than anything more scandalous. The following year, Britney and Sam tied the knot in a star-studded wedding at her mansion in California. Although most fans were very happy for her, others kept pushing the idea that her husband was somehow controlling her. This is something that Sam has had to continually deny. Back in December, he responded to a comment which accused him of controlling her social media accounts. He said, no, I don't even control what we have for dinner. Before he proposed in September of 2021, the actor opened up about the beginning of their relationship and how he sees their future together. He spoke to Forbes in March and said, my priorities in life are to remain humble and understand where I came from and where I'm going. I want to take my career to the next step when it comes to acting. I want to take my relationship to the next step as well. I don't mind becoming a father. I want to be a young dad. Although they seem to have a very solid relationship when they started thinking about marriage, unfortunately their wedding was not without its hiccups and that's kind of an understatement. Britney's ex-husband Jason Alexander gate crashed her wedding by showing up at her house and trying to stop it. The two of them were married for 55 hours in 2004 and as you could have probably guessed it wasn't very well thought out. They were both really young, very drunk and decided to get married in Las Vegas after spending several days partying together. Then they got the marriage annulled after they both sobered up. So everyone was shocked that almost 20 years later, Jason came back into Britney's life only to try and ruin her wedding. He was obviously looking to get a bit of publicity out of it as well because he filmed the whole thing on Instagram Live. What's really crazy is that he actually managed to break into her home before he got arrested for trespassing and was taken away by security. More than anything, this incident was really upsetting considering that it happened around the same time that Britney's conservatorship came to an end. The singer was trying to start a new life and celebrate her freedom. So it's really sad that she couldn't even have a drama free wedding. Next, we have to talk about Britney Spears unnerving Instagram videos. If you follow her on Instagram, you know she posts quite frequently. She posts anything from photos she finds on the internet that she connects with, videos of her dancing, or throwbacks, which all sound like they would be normal enough, but there's definitely something strange in her Instagram which leaves a lot of fans, as well as celebrities, very worried. She has turned off her comments, but this hasn't stopped the world from talking about her. On Tuesday though, these videos seem to really take a turn, leaving many confused and concerned as speculation started rolling through. Britney took to Instagram to post a very animated and bizarre video. She discusses fashion, then it turns to telling fans not to call the cops if she deletes her Instagram. This video is just under a minute long, but through it, she switches through a couple different accents, sounding semi-Australian and British with blinks of what seemed to be her normal voice. It's definitely very strange. The video starts with the singer 
here telling fans about a dress she made that her friend helped her sew. This quickly changes though, as she talks about how this dress was shipped to her from a company, without saying which one. She poses with the dress in front of her, without putting it on, and moves forward to the camera, then back again a few times. She then shifts back to talking about shutting down her Instagram. This comes from the time when Britney shut down her Instagram back in January. This had fans so concerned, they ended up contacting the authorities to do a wellness check on the singer at the time. She later revealed she switched off comments prior due to the comments she was continuously getting on her posts. When she brought back her Instagram, Brittany wrote, I took down my Instagram because there was too many people saying I looked like an idiot dancing and that I looked crazy. Honestly, I was doing my best, but it disturbed me to see people freely talking about me on TV. It hurt my feelings. I'm sensitive and I honestly, I would rather take a break and do my ice cream diet instead. In this recent video, she refocuses on this story and says, so guys, I just wanted to let you know if I shut down my Instagram, do not call the cops. This clip then cuts out to Britney running in and out of the frame while still holding the dress, saying, don't ever be a roller coaster. The video ends with another clip of her running past the camera saying, never be a roller coaster. As these concerns about Britney continue, those who are closest to her have become increasingly worried about her behavior. Reportedly, they are even planning an intervention to get her help for both her mental health struggles and on how she has been allegedly under the influence. This intervention was called off by someone on Britney's team. TMZ asked Britney's attorney why was it called off just a week ago and who made the call, but he remained silent. To the singer has told the press that Britney is taking medications that hype her up and she's been flying off the handle. Throughout the week, even saying how she is afraid she's going to pass away. Fans responding to the video on Twitter are also very nervous. With one user writing, Britney Spears just posted this on her Instagram and it's the scariest thing I've ever watched. As well as another writing, I rarely go on Instagram, but this was the first thing I saw. Is she using an Australian accent? With lots of cuts and repeat movement, why does she look to the left so often? I'm concerned. Others believe she could be currently going through a manic episode. One worried fan writes, I've just seen Britney Spears' video going around, and from a man who watched his mother suffer my whole life, she needs medical help quickly. Not encouraging and exploiting. Not only was this video itself worrying, but her caption left everyone with some questions. She wrote, Stay humble out there all. Hi mommy, hi daddy, I am a star now, have you heard? Carry on, peeps. The video has been saved many times as it circles around Twitter in fear that it will be deleted by either someone close to her or herself. Britney and her husband, as well as her manager, were all seen at the restaurant Nobu for dinner Sunday night, where she did appear to be fine. But we are still unaware when this disturbing video posted on Tuesday was actually recorded. So you might have heard the theory that Britney Spears is actually missing, and the Britney that we see on social media is not really her. It sounds crazy, but this theory has been getting a lot of traction recently. To sum it all up, some fans believe that her accounts aren't actually being run by Britney herself. To try and prove this idea, they have sought the help of AI. The Instagram account called Britney is not free posted a video where AI was used to enhance a grainy picture from her recent wedding to Sam. The video shows Britney on her wedding day, but the photo is kind of blurry and pixelated. After running the picture into a photo generator, they made an interesting discovery. Of course, this kind of technology can make photos appear clearer, and that's exactly what it did. But this new shot of her was said to look nothing like her, or at least there was something uncanny valley about it. Some fans pointed to this as evidence that the person in the picture is not really her. In the comments section, people wrote things like, nothing can convince me that that's her at this point, and looks more like Jessica Simpson. But of course, there are also those people who called out the theory for how ridiculous it is. They insisted that AI is not reliable and it doesn't actually prove anything. The Instagram account was eventually deleted, but the Free Britney movement is still alive and well. People are constantly on the lookout for more clues that someone is impersonating her using deepfake technology. Another example of this is a video of her on Instagram dancing around her house. In these clips, it looks like Britney's tattoos are gone in one frame, but then suddenly show up in the next. It almost seems like there's some kind of glitch to make the tattoos disappear and reappear. Not only that, but some people swear that the features on her face have also been glitching, which might be because AI can have trouble mapping out all the facial characteristics in real time. And that's even more difficult when the
the person is moving too quickly. But of course, there is always a reasonable explanation for this. Britney could just be using a filter in the same way that a lot of people do on TikTok and Instagram. And those ones do tend to move about when you cover your face or you turn your head. So it's more likely that she was using just a simple beauty filter, which can smooth your skin, change your eye color, and even your face shape. But not everyone is going to be satisfied with this explanation. One of the biggest reasons that this theory has gone on for so long is that Britney has very much kept out of the spotlight since her conservatorship ended in November of 2021. She hasn't done a ton of red carpet appearances or any live performances. She's mostly just been posting on Instagram. All of this makes it very easy for people to latch onto the narrative that she is still being controlled. Of course, no one knows for sure, but we also just have to take her word for it. If she says she's okay, then yeah, she's okay. A few months ago, it was reported that Britney's family and friends were planning to host an intervention amid growing concerns for her mental health. In response, the singer hit back on Instagram with a scathing post. She wrote, it makes me sick to my stomach that it's even legal for people to make up stories that I almost died. I mean, at some point, enough is enough. She ended the post by saying, doing the best I can. Again, the conservatorship has been over for almost a year. No folks, it's not 2007, it's 2023. And I'm making my first homemade lasagna at home. I finally got my fireplace to work in my living room. As my hubby says it best, don't believe everything you read. And yes, even Sam Asghari has gotten dragged into the middle of this. He spoke to Access Hollywood and insisted that the intervention never took place. He said that Britney is in complete charge of her life and will continue to make all decisions surrounding her care regardless of circumstances. Fortunately, there is some good news in all of this chaos. Britney will finally get to tell her own story and take back the narrative of her own life. Her highly anticipated memoir is set to be released this fall. She landed one of the biggest book deals of all time, receiving a $15 million advance to write her book for Simon & Schuster. And it's already predicted to be a groundbreaking bestseller. According to insiders, the manuscript is said to be a powerful and inspiring account of her life and her most vulnerable moments. It's set to detail all of her honest experiences from childhood to her struggles with mental health, toxic relationships, as well as her infamous conservatorship. The book will also chronicle her incredible journey of overcoming her oppressive family and finding joy with her partner, Sam. Although the memoir doesn't have a name yet, we do know that it was written with the help of acclaimed novelist and journalist, Sam Lansky, who's been working closely with Britney to make sure that every aspect of her life is covered properly. So it's definitely something to keep your eye on. It turns out the highly anticipated book will be released this fall, and it's already predicted to be a groundbreaking bestseller. According to insiders, the manuscript is said to be a powerful and inspiring account of Britney's life and her most vulnerable moments. It's said to detail all of her honest experiences from childhood to her struggles with mental health, toxic relationships, as well as her infamous conservatorship. The book will also chronicle her incredible journey of overcoming her oppressive family and finding joy with her partner, Sam Asghari. Though the memoir doesn't have a name yet, we know that it was written with the help of acclaimed novelist and journalist, Sam Lansky, who has been working very closely with Britney to make sure that every aspect of her life is covered properly. This book will give her the opportunity she's been waiting for to finally take back the narrative of her own life. An inside source who spoke to Page Six said, Britney's book is a story of triumph. It will cover her most vulnerable moments, her childhood, being a little girl with big dreams, her breakup with Justin Timberlake, the moment she shaved her head, and her battle with her family over her conservatorship. They described her memoir as a story of survival and female empowerment. Another publishing source revealed that there are parts of the book that every person can relate to. Quote, she transforms joy and pain into something transcendent, art. This is an inspiring read, not only because it shows the strength of Britney's spirit, but because her story is told with such style, wit, intelligence, honesty, and without any self-pity. She is entirely winning in these pages. In January of 2022, she first hinted at the news on Instagram when she posted a picture of a typewriter with the caption, shall I start from the beginning? Then in February, it was reported that she landed one of the biggest book deals of all time and received a whopping $15 million advance to write her memoir for Simon & Schuster. In the world of publishing, this is considered one of the biggest deals for a single title in history, as it was equal to 25% of her $60 million net worth. So it's great to hear that Britney has gotten a really good paycheck from this as well. Right now, it's the perfect time for her to tell her own story. One year ago, her younger sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, published a memoir called Things I Should Have Said. In it, she included certain details of Britney's life that were told from her own perspective. But it seemed like she was trying to paint a negative image of her older sister. Fans were outraged by the book and accused her of attempting to profit off of Britney's name. 
moment while trying to make her look bad. In response, the singer called her out in a lengthy Twitter post and wrote, please stop with these crazy lies for the Hollywood books. The two things that did bother me that my sister said was how my behavior was out of control. She was never around me much 15 years ago at that time. So why are they even talking about that unless she wants to sell a book at my expense? Eventually her attorney, Matthew Rosengard, served Jamie Lynn a cease and desist letter and warned her not to make any more derogatory comments about Britney. But the tension between the sisters is only going to heighten with the release of the new book. When speaking about it on social media, Britney said, I don't have a family that values me or respects me at all. That's the hard part for me. And as much as I love them, it's something that I'll probably never be able to get over. I've written three different versions of my book and had lots of therapy through the process. She explains that she's in love with the life that she's been able to build for herself. And she's done a lot of hard work to get out from under her father's control. Britney said, having this newfound independence gives me strength every day and the ability to stay hungry, focused, fearless, and honestly, just be a good person. Number 10, the wedding ring. It seems the allegedly very happy couple is having some trouble in paradise, and it looks like they will continue to deny it. Just recently, Britney was spotted without her wedding ring, and Sam seemed to take note, and was seen without his just days later. The singer was caught by paparazzi at the end of March, headed to a private jet with her manager, Kate Hudson, as they headed off to Hawaii, oddly enough, without her husband. Then just two days later, Sam was ringless as he left the gym, which only added evidence that the 10 month marriage could already be ending. For two people in the public eye so consistently, many fans believe that this is a subtle hint to the beginning of the end. Britney's recent post didn't help with the speculations as well. She posted a short clip mid March of her trip to Mexico, captioning the video with, Throwback to Mexico before I got married. So happy and silly here. This obviously sparked some worry amongst her fans, with one commenting, So she's not happy now? Another added, She's obviously not happy now. This marriage seems shammy. Since getting flooded with comments, she has since turned off her comments on Instagram, but it hasn't stopped the talking on other platforms. Even with the allegations of her relationship, Sam's representative has since confirmed that there's no marital issues going on between the two. His publicist added that he took off his ring and wasn't able to attend the trip because he's filming a movie. Even if that is so, Britney and her representative still haven't come forward as to where her ring is. Number 9, The Constant Fighting Speculations about the couple being on the rocks isn't new news though. Back in the fall of last year, a new report emerged claiming that the couple was having constant fights as a result of Britney's alleged mood swings. A source at the time told Globe and Mail that Sam's marriage to Britney was seriously a heavy lift, claiming that he is burnt out and ready to get out of there as soon as possible. Allegedly, the newlyweds non-stop fighting was partially due to her erratic moods, but also to do with Britney's neediness. An insider to the press said, Sam's had the patience of a saint, but he's seriously worn down. If he so much as heads off for a workout, she freaks out and gives him the third degree. Even going on to claim that Britney was essentially treating her new husband as a glorified assistant. Though Sam has shown his protective side online towards Britney, the source continues to reveal how exhausted he really is behind the scenes. An insider shares by saying, he has to wait on her hand and foot and be her sounding board for every little decision. He's seriously thinking about a trip away with his friends and his sisters. Maybe a trio back to Iran to see his folks. Adding at the end how crucial it is for him to clear his head. The couple didn't comment at the time about these alleged fights, so take these claims with a grain of salt. But either way, it does sound like the relationship could be more messy than we would like to think. Number 8, The Intervention This past year has looked to be a whirlwind for the singer, from getting married to clapping back at fans who called for a wellness check, as well as becoming upset when fans began filming her when she had a rare dinner at a restaurant. It's definitely been a lot. After sources claimed to the press that her inner circle, including her manager and husband, were planning an intervention, she was pretty furious. A source even said that the reason for this intervention was because the singer was becoming so erratic that they feared that she was going to pass away. Britney then took to Instagram to explain her side of the story and address all the allegations. She wrote, It makes me sick to my stomach that it's even legal for people to make up stories about how I almost passed away. I mean, at some point, enough is enough. She added, I probably have to stop posting on Instagram even though I enjoy it. There's obviously a lot of people who don't wish me well. Sam came forward and told Access Hollywood that an intervention didn't happen. He said, My wife is in full control of her life and will continue to make all the decisions involving her care, regardless of the circumstance. Speculation on her health is inappropriate and should end immediately. Apparently, a house was going to be rented for two months while she underwent treatment, which would include counseling, but it was canceled because she became too aware of what was going on. Number seven, the prenup. With Britney's $60 million net worth, you can imagine that there's definitely going to be a prenup involved. But this 
prenup seems to be a little bit more hardcore, with some calling it ironclad. A source told TMZ that the prenup will ensure that Sam won't get a dollar of anything Britney has made in her career up until this point, saying she will retain her entire fortune if things go south for her and Sam. Allegedly, this prenup was written over the course of her engagement and has been thoroughly looked over by her lawyers. When Sam noticed that people were talking about the prenup, he joked on his Instagram story, writing, Thank you for the concern of the prenup. Of course, we're writing an ironclad prenup to protect my Jeep and shoe collection in case she dumps me one day. Many did agree, though, as fans came forward admitting how they don't necessarily trust Sam. One Twitter user wrote, Britney has suffered to get all of her property in her hands. The thought of her ever losing part of it to someone else is honestly just so nauseating. Number six, Gold Digger. Not long after Britney and Sam got engaged, many fans were not too sure about how they felt about the whole thing. During her long battle to escape her conservatorship, Sam was always standing right beside her, looking to support the singer even through some of the most difficult years of her life. Though she won a huge victory of ending her conservatorship and with getting engaged at the time, fans still believed that we weren't totally in the clear yet. Sure, many were happy for her, but others couldn't help but notice some red flags popping up. And not surprisingly, fears started circulating that Sam was only in it for the money. This of course would be a pretty long con by Sam, as the two have been together for years. But a few believed it was a gain to fame, money, and live a more lavish lifestyle. The fear seems to come to a head when Sam's ex-girlfriend spoke to TMZ in an interview where she discussed the newly engaged couple. She said to the press, he finally hit the jackpot. Though she did say she was very happy for the two of them, when asked her thoughts on if he had any ulterior motives, she responded by saying, Hollywood, it's so hard to tell, but he's so charming and such a sweet guy that I really hope not for her sake. She also added, she's been through enough. Even if this did seem like a pretty nice blessing from his former girlfriend, others weren't so sure. Noticing that after announcing the engagement, he began appearing in the spotlight much more frequently, leaving a few fans to believe he might just be enjoying it a little too much. Number 5. Controlling After she escaped her dad, fans didn't stop worrying about the singer. Many were asking the question, is Sam the one in control now? After getting engaged, it was reported that Sam began taking on much more of the responsibility of Britney, leaving fans worried that he was now the boss of her. An insider who spoke to Radar explained how Britney relies heavily on her then fiance, saying that Sam is now the boss. Understandably, after everything she has been through, Britney doesn't trust a lot of people, which is why she is relying so heavily on Sam. The insider went on to say, all she has is Sam, which is why everything is going through him. Even simple press requests are now going through Sam. Seems like Sam is very aware of this though, and the power that comes with essentially managing all of Britney's assets. The source shares, Britney is a cash machine. After what happened with her dad, he knows why people are frightened. He understands the power of being engaged to someone so powerful. Regardless as to if he truly does understand, fans can't seem to shake the concern that he is just a little bit more controlling than he's letting on. Number 4. The Ex Britney's ex-husband Jason Alexander had some suspicions of its own when it came to his ex's engagement. During an interview with the Inside Edition, Jason shared his true opinion on the whole relationship, claiming he believes that none of it is real at all. He shared, I'm always going to love her, and if she's happy with Sam, then that's what's going to happen, and I'm happy for her. But when the interviewer asked if he believed it was all real, he responded by simply saying no. Jason didn't stop there though, and went on to crash Britney's wedding before getting arrested for trespassing. Three months after crashing the wedding, he appeared on the podcast One Degree of Scandalous and shared his side of the story. He revealed, She called me on Monday, which is probably the 7th. It was a couple of days before the wedding. We spoke for about 20 minutes. Nothing was brought up about the wedding taking place at all. He went on to claim, It was kind of a flirty conversation. When asked about what he noticed when he crashed the wedding, he said, Maybe I wasn't on the guest list. Either way, this is Britney's wedding day and she's locked in the bedroom. Number 3. The Pretend Choke What most people are calling just an absolute red flag is the weird photo the couple took together. The photo shows Sam's right hand behind Britney's neck and his left hovering in the air around her chin, looking as though he was going to choke her. Britney captioned the photo with, Happy B Day to me. While she did look happy in the photo, many Instagram users felt concerned at Sam's weird pretend choke. One fan wrote, I feel like this is a red flag. Hands around your neck, this is horrifying. Another added, His stance is aggressive, which is a comment that ended up getting thousands of likes in a Agreement. Fans even urged her to run, saying, Are you serious? He looks like he's about to choke you. Run, Brit. 
happy birthday, but run. I have to admit the picture is a little weird, but what do you guys think? Number two, unsupportive dad. Though it looks like Britney is typically pretty happy with Sam, there's definitely one person who absolutely does not approve, and that's her dad, Jamie. A close source to the star revealed in 2016, Britney's dad does not like this guy at all. Jamie has some reservations that he is worried that Sam may be after her money. But after getting out of her strict conservatorship, it really doesn't matter what her dad thinks. This hasn't stopped Sam from sharing his opinions on Jamie though. Sam shared online, Now it's important for people to understand that I have zero respect for someone trying to control our relationship and constantly throwing obstacles our way. He even went on to say, In my opinion, James is a total D. I won't be going into details because I've always respected our privacy. But at the same time, I didn't come to this country to not be able to express my opinion and freedom. Number 1. The Affair Allegations Just a few months into their relationship, rumors started circulating the couple, relating to cheating allegations. Morgan Osmond from the Bad Girls Club came forward in January 2017. She told the press, I have videos and images of our real relationship. Brittany, he is using you. She posted a photo at the time which showed herself and Sam kissing. She claimed that the two of them were having an affair. She said, I don't know why everyone is attacking me. Sam is the cheater. I feel sorry for Britney Spears. She seems like a good person. Not long after these allegations, Sam discovered a fake Bumble account using his photos. He then took to Instagram with a screenshot of the profile with a red X writing, not on any dating apps. Neither Britney nor Sam commented on these allegations at the time, and Morgan has since deleted the photo. But many fans think the whole thing is just pretty sketchy. First off, Britney Spears has now broken her silence after footage of her supposed meltdown at an LA restaurant Joey sparked concern among fans. Patrons immediately recognized her and started filming, which drove her over the edge. These people clearly recorded her for quite some time and really seemed to enjoy winding her up, which if you watch the video is the reason that Britney was feeling distraught. In the clip you can actually see that she uses a menu to shield her face from the camera and around the same time eyewitnesses said that she began yelling and muttering to herself. This led her husband Sam Asghari to become upset and storm out of the restaurant without her. As the video started making the rounds on social media, an employee at Joey told Page Six that the disruptor wasn't Britney, it was the diners who taunted her by taking a video of her without consent. Not only that, but Sam also took to his Instagram stories on Saturday night to defend his wife. He wrote, Don't believe what you read online, people. Which makes sense because many fans were quick to say that it was Britney causing a scene. Never mind the fact that none of us would appreciate being filmed while we're just going out to eat. As for Britney, she took to her Instagram account on Sunday and hit back at the headlines. She shared a picture of a girl pouring syrup on pancakes and added a lengthy caption that addresses the whole incident. She wrote, I watched Natural Born Killers this morning and damn I got enlightened. I'm pretty sure I brought a billion smiles to me looking like Shrek at a restaurant. Even my best friend couldn't wait to send it to me. They don't think twice because we are all natural born killers. She then went on to say, I know the news is all hyped about me getting a little drunk at a restaurant. It's like they'll be watching my every move. I'm so flattered they talk about me like a maniac, then have the balls to talk about all the negative things that happened in my past. Britney acknowledges that although some of her fans are rooting for her, others are making fun of pictures of her that look frazzled, even though she insisted there were two pictures where she looked normal. She ended the post by saying, Either way, honestly, I know nobody gives a flying F what I do, which is incredibly sad. At this point, it seems like Britney just cannot catch a break, no matter what she does. The singer was recently freed from her 30 year long conservatorship and she was reportedly diagnosed with bipolar disorder. She also revealed that she was held at a mental health facility against her will and forced to take medications. But what really left fans concerned was when she admitted in November that she was not totally present during her wedding to Sam. At the moment the hashtag where's Britney is trending online as fans noticed several strange occurrences around her birthday. They pointed to a video she posted on Instagram of Sam singing happy birthday to her while she was not on camera, but some people said the audio sounded strange and almost like a recording, which also fueled rumors that Britney isn't actually the one speaking in it. Many now believe that her social media accounts 
months are being controlled by someone else, while others think that she is quite literally missing. After the theories about her went viral on TikTok, she then deleted her Instagram account. But if people were truly concerned about her well being, they should start by just giving her a slither of privacy. Even though the TMZ video was only 30 seconds long, you could tell that there was something inherently mean spirited about the way that people were filming her in the restaurant. It was obvious that they wanted to get some kind of reaction. All of this brings up that age old question Does having a public career mean your life belongs to the public? A lot of people seem to think that losing privacy is the natural cost of fame. But the thing is that being famous doesn't mean you choose to have your privacy revoked, it doesn't mean you're obligated to have your life publicized, and it doesn't mean your life is also the lives of thousands of fans. So when it comes to Britney Spears, especially after everything she's been through, we should be letting her move on and just live her life. First off, why can't people just leave Britney alone? That's a question everyone's asking after police were called to her home to conduct a wellness check on her just because she deleted her Instagram account. Fans believe there was something seriously wrong with the singer after she took herself off, so they decided to call the cops to her home to see if she was in danger. So how did Britney react to the intrusion? Well, as you can expect, she was reportedly left annoyed with her fans. Sources told TMZ that she was frustrated at the unexpected visit and called it an inconvenience. So why did it happen in the first place, considering that Britney has deleted her Instagram account multiple times in recent years? But for whatever reason, fans felt that this time was different. They became alarmed and thought that she was in trouble. They then called the Ventura Co Sheriff's Office. Deputies from the Sheriff's Office then went out to Britney's home and determined that there was no reason to believe she was in danger. A police spokesperson told Page Six, I can confirm that we did get calls into our dispatch, and essentially, I can confirm that we don't believe that Britney Spears is in any kind of harm or any kind of danger. Some of the worried fans who made the calls to police took to TikTok to live stream the wellness check requests. One of the callers identified herself as Christina, and she could be heard saying, I was calling because I'm worried about the physical safety of a resident in your area. There's been suspicious activity online, and now her account has been deleted. But what suspicious activity was she talking about? Well, before her account was taken down, Britney posted a photo of a car and a lengthy caption where she wrote, sucks to be me. Giving someone I love my everything only gives me the dagger in my heart. Last week, she also posted vintage photos with her ex-boyfriend Justin Timberlake that were taken nearly 22 years ago. In July of 2001, the former couple competed in the Challenge for the Children charity basketball game in Las Vegas, where they wore matching Knights jerseys with the words Stinky and Pinky on the back. She captioned the post saying, when we used to shoot hoops together, that's when miracles happened, which kind of seems like she was reminiscing about her romance. But the rest of the caption gets a little concerning. She wrote, I came out of my mom's stomach just like we all did. So why always cast me out? Brittany also made some strange posts about her son's 16 year old Jaden and 17 year old Preston. They seemed to have a really strained relationship with their mother and they didn't even attend her wedding. Last September, Jaden sat down for a bombshell interview with ITV News, where he claimed that if he and his brother did attend her wedding, it would not end on good terms. After the interview came out, Britney made a post on Instagram saying, It deeply saddened me to know his outcry of saying I wasn't up to his expectations of a mother. If you could pause for a second, remember where you came from. I hope you can look in the mirror and remember. She also posted some distressing voice recording, where she could be heard saying, Jaden, you undermine my behavior just like my whole family always has. When you say, I hope she gets better, I will pray for her. Pray for what? I keep working so I can pay off mom's legal fees and her house. You guys want me to continue to get better so I can continue giving your dad 40 grand a month? Or is the reasoning behind you guys deciding to be hateful that it's actually over in two years and you don't get anything? So it sounded like she was talking about cutting them off financially when they turn 18. But whatever the case, clearly there is now a deep rift within the family and the intrusive media attention is only making it worse. Earlier this month, footage of Britney's supposed meltdown at an LA restaurant went viral on social media. Customers immediately recognized her and started filming, which drove her over the edge. In the clip, you can see that she uses a menu to shield her face from the camera. Around the same time, eyewitnesses said that she began yelling and muttering to herself. This led her husband, Sam Asgari, to become upset and storm out of the restaurant without her. In the end, so many people were quick to assume that it was Britney who was causing a scene. Never mind the fact that none of us would appreciate being filmed while we're going out to eat. So realistically, there's plenty 
plenty of reasons why she would be stressed right now and need a break from social media. And maybe that's all that's really going on here. So it was recently reported that Britney's family and friends were in talks to host an intervention after growing concerns for her mental health. According to TMZ, her husband, her manager, an interventionist, and doctors all plan to try and convince Britney to get treatment and keep her in a house in LA for two months. Apparently, people in her inner circle had grown concerned for her well being due to a medication related issue. One of them said, Britney has been acting increasingly erratic, and those around her have grown more concerned. She's often up all night, sleeps during the day, and has a lot of anger. Another insider said that things behind the scenes have been very difficult and absolutely chaotic, as those close to her encourage her to get help. Quote, everyone had hoped Britney could be convinced to seek treatment before things got any worse, but they knew it wouldn't be easy. She's been going through a lot and has been increasingly combative. But then we learned that the intervention was cancelled because it was deemed unnecessary. Another source came forward and spoke to page six. They said, unfortunately, there is a lot of hysteria in the media right now, but Britney is fine. And much of this has been overblown and grossly distorted. And it looks like this might be the case because now Britney herself has spoken out against the headlines with a post on Instagram. She wrote, it makes me sick to my stomach that it's even legal for people to make up stories that I almost died. I mean, at some point enough is enough. She also claimed that she's probably going to have to stop posting on Instagram because even though she enjoys doing it, there's obviously a lot of people who don't wish her well, which is not surprising to her at all. Brittany entered the post by saying, doing the best I can. Again, the conservatorship has been over for almost a year. No folks, it's not 2007, it's 2023. And I'm making my first homemade lasagna at home. I finally got my fireplace to work in my living room. As my hubby says it best, don't believe everything you read. So there you go, she had to hop on social media once again and reassure everyone that she's doing just fine. Makes you wonder whether people in her inner circle were really concerned about her or they just wanted to start even more drama. But it's crazy when you think about how often this kind of thing has been happening. Last month, Britney was filmed getting upset while fans invaded her privacy and recorded her at a restaurant. Not long after that, police were called to her home to conduct a wellness check on her just because she deleted her Instagram account. Fans believe there was something seriously wrong with the singer after she took herself off of social media without warning. So they decided to call the cops to her home to see if she was in danger. But the police later confirmed that she was not in any kind of trouble, even though they said that they did not talk to her about any kind of mental health issues. This obviously left Britney frustrated with her so-called fans. She then took to social media to deny that she'd had a breakdown. She wrote on Instagram, it is what it is. Nope, I'm not having a breakdown. I am who I am. And moving forward in my life, I have never felt better. Sadly, the singer has a long history of people trying to control her life and her actions. As we know, she was legally locked into a 13 year conservatorship where her father, Jamie Spears, had total control over her personal and financial affairs. In fact, Britney once claimed during a court testimony that she'd been forced to go to a mental facility against her will in early 2019. It was only in November of 2021 that she regained control of her multi million dollar fortune and various aspects of her life. Although the court battle over legal fees is still ongoing. During recent hearings, things became very contentious about Britney's personal well being. In January of 2022, her father's attorney requested to unseal all records from the duration of the conservatorship. The singer's attorney, Matthew Rosengard, called this offensive and highly inappropriate. At the time, he said, We don't think a father who loves his daughter would file to unseal her medical records. So after all of that, it's no surprise that Britney's relationship with her father and other members of her family are irreparably broken. And all the unwanted media attention would have only exacerbated those feelings, which is just another reason that she needs privacy now more than ever. Number 10, weird Instagram posts. Even after the conservatorship formally ended, some were still suspicious in regards to what was really happening with Britney. I mean, she can't even post herself dancing on Instagram without people overanalyzing said post to the moon and back. Case in point, when in December of 2021, Britney posted a video to Instagram of her dancing. Now, while some just saw this as Britney sharing her love of her body and her love of dance with her fans, others believed it was a sign that she was not yet actually free, citing that it was not normal and this was not the bee that they knew. All she really posted was a video of her twirling around and smiling at the camera, and in the caption, she shared that she took this video a few days before, but she had been sick, and so she was finally sharing it today with everyone. She also shared in her caption that she has been dancing a ton, up to three hours a day, and doing Zumba classes as well. Which I think some are wondering, like, is that Britney choosing to do that, or what's really happening? And friends, before we move on to our next spot, if you love what we do here at Inform Overload, if you love hearing about all the tea with us, sharing on all the goss, be sure to let us know by giving this video a thumbs up. Number nine, her security team. Someone who claimed to have served Britney 
Courtney and her son at a restaurant noted that there was some weirdness when they did. She was there with her two security guards and her son, although we don't actually know the date of when this experience happened. We do know that the TikTok was posted on January 7th, I believe, of 2022. Ulysses on his TikTok, Yuli and Ernesto, shared an interaction he had with Brittany and her son while waiting on them, which honestly seemed quite harmless and even kind of sweet to be honest. And yet he stated that serving her while wedged in between her two security guards was pretty nerve wracking, as he felt that they were closely watching his every move. And if he jotted down her order too quickly, for example, he would just be taken out by them. Of course, security teams can be intense, and this may have been, you know, just that. Also, I feel like it'd be weird to serve someone when they have security right by them. It's already a kind of can be a weird experience. We also don't know when this happened, but it also might be a cause for concern for fans who are worried that people around Britney are still not truly working exclusively for her, but are monitoring her for those who are secretly still in control of her life. If this did happen, you know, after the fact. Although I feel like this probably happened before because she was with her sons, but who knows. Number eight, no new albums. Although Britney claims this is her way of basically saying F you to all those who used and mistreated her over the years throughout her time working in the music industry, some may still see this as a sign that she's actually not fully in control. Especially as although she said, you know, I'm not gonna do new music, she did also do a track with Elton John, Hold Me Closer, so wh what is that about? People might think that there are those keeping her from making her own new music because they're worried about what she will say through her art and what she might expose. However, Spears herself was the one who claimed she's decided to stay out of the music industry for now because she's actually like scared of returning to it. Britney shared that she is scared of people and the business, going on to say, they really hurt me. Is this empowerment or is someone else behind the scenes trying to keep her quiet? Honestly, I could see not wanting to work in an industry that has basically been used to exploit and imprison me, but we have also always known Britney as someone who has claimed to love performing and who seemingly loves to sing and dance. So that's the contradiction between the two sides, I suppose. I mean, I feel like as an actor, I would always want to act, but also if acting was used to sort of control me, well, I don't know how I'd feel about that. Number seven, deposing Dr. James Edward Spar. Conservatorship attorney Lisa McCarley recently filed an amicus brief against Dr. James Edward Spar. Spar, McCarley claims, is one of the people who should be first examined and deposed in the case of the aftermath regarding Britney's conservatorship as it was Spar's report that actually made it possible for the conservatorship to have happened in the first place, his medical report. This filing came in response to the fact that Britney was heading back to court against her father in late July of 2022. This goes to show that the battle to secure Britney's freedom and peace of mind in regards to her conservatorship and holding those accountable for their mistreatment of her is not really yet over. In fact, that part might just kind of still even be beginning. In Dr. James Edward Spar's 2008 medical report, he claimed that Britney had dementia and was also the one to suggest that Britney Spears should not be able to hire her own lawyer. Well, Lisa McCarley is not directly linked to Britney's case as she's not part of anyone's legal team in regards to that. She was able to file the amicus brief. She did so out of the concern that Jamie Spears might try to actually have Britney deposed as a result of how things played out. Number six, no investigation into financials. TriStar Sports and Entertainment and Robin Greenwell, one of their employees and one of the main conspirators, it would seem, in Britney Spears' conservatorship, were initially under risk of being subpoenaed and deposed with their finances being looked into in regards to the managing of Britney and her conservatorship. However, earlier this year, Matthew Rosengart seemingly had a change of heart, deciding not only to remove these requests and take it easy on them, but also get rid of the financial hearing altogether, making some question who he is really working for and if Britney is truly free at all, or if she and her lawyer are still basically under the influence of those who have been controlling and manipulating her for years. The hearing was set to happen on January 19th, but ended up being dismissed as a result of a deal Rosengart made with TriStar and Greenhill, which yeah, that seems super weird. Why did that happen? Number five, Matthew Rosengart's track record. Matthew Rosengart is Britney's lawyer, and although she seems pretty happy to have him, at least publicly, some worry about where his allegiances really lie, especially after he moved to dismiss the financial hearing that was supposed to happen earlier this year. Rosengart initially seemed to be coming for those who had manipulated Britney over the years, who she made clear she felt deserved to be in jail during her statement to the court. Despite initially filing to have members of her team who worked with the conservatorship subpoenaed and deposed, Matthew Rosengart later seemed to back down from this stance. And it seems that he has a record of kind of working similarly with other high profile celebrity clients, trying to work more with both sides than really coming for anyone in terms of resolving cases. Fans have been disappointed by this change where initially it seemed as though 
though Rosengart was condemning those who mistreated Britney and was helping to fight for justice. But now it just seems like he's kind of rolling over and bowing down to those who were responsible for holding her captive for basically 13 years of her life. Without anything getting concluded either, this could mean that accounts are basically left open, implying less financial control for Britney, which she blatantly stated was something she actively wanted to have more of. Number 4. Scandalous Instagram Posts Oh boy, always with the Instagram posts with Britney, we get some pretty crazy stuff that it's like, what does this mean? Does it mean anything? I don't know. Britney's Instagram has indeed been a wild ride through the years, from people trying to analyze cryptic messages and seeing them as everything from straight up just like a woman being happy and this means nothing, to coded cries for help. We've really seen it all when it comes to Britney's Instagram. Although understanding what's really going on when it comes to why Britney posts what she is post or even if she's in control of it has been pretty challenging. Some posts that came earlier this year made some fans concerned though in regards to if Britney was really the one in control of posting them or not. Which also might be why Britney is not on Instagram because maybe she's tired of that or maybe she was never in control. Who knows? At the time, Britney had a social media company, Crowdsurf, running her Instagram, with many believing that Cassie was the one behind many seemingly controversial posts. It was supposed to be, I guess, posting for her. These ones involved Britney showing off her body, a little more scandalous than her usual fare, perhaps. Some might just see this as body positivity and empowerment on Britney's end, who, you know, she's always been like known as sort of a sexy figure, with her expressing herself and just being proud of how she looks, deciding to share it with the world. However, the posts also hit Instagram the same day that her lawyer, Matthew Rosengart, made a deal with TriStar to dismiss the financial hearing, which does seem kind of sus, like it's some sort of weird strategy thing. Fans worry if Britney is really in control of her own social media, and if perhaps someone might still be behind the scenes, controlling her and controlling what she posts. Which is especially concerning in regards to images that are a little bit more revealing on her social media, be they physically revealing or emotionally revealing, it's a little weird. These posts however are currently not viewable at the time of this recording because Britney's Instagram right now is not active. So. Number 3. Praising Jamie Lynn Spears Some have really called into question who is behind Britney's Instagram posts after she expressed love to her baby sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, despite their feud coming to a head in recent years. Britney has called out Jamie in the past for not being there for her during her conservatorship and for not fighting for Britney's rights to live her own life, which admittedly, if my little sister left me to drown like that and I was in a, stuck in a conservatorship I didn't want, I'd also probably feel pretty hurt and betrayed too. Jamie Lynn, however, maintained afterwards in an interview that she was actually confused by Britney's claims about her, maintaining she's always been there for her sister and she's always loved and supported her. So needless to say, Britney showing love for her sister in an Instagram post on her own birthday, not even on Jamie's birthday, is pretty odd to say the least. Sisters can be complicated though. Siblings, it's a whole thing. Number 2. Deactivated her Instagram account Yikes! So this one actually happened after Sam Asghari, Britney's husband, jumped on Instagram live and asked Britney if she wanted to join him on the live. He was basically just him and then he, she was there and he was like, hey, do you want to like get in on this? If he was allowed to basically show that she was there with him. Although we don't see Britney, we can hear her in the background off to the side saying that she actually doesn't need to jump in on the live because she is always live. Which Sam then reiterates and Britney confirms, she's always live. Later Sam asks her if she wants to jump in again and she responds by saying, I don't want to jump in, I have nothing to say, I don't want to talk to them right now. Which some might see as Britney avoiding her fans and not showing herself simply because she didn't feel like it, but others might see it as some kind of like coded message for help again. With Britney perhaps being prevented from joining the live by external forces who may still be exerting their control over her life. Or perhaps even by like Sam controlling her, although I don't think that's what's happening. Shortly after, Britney deactivated her Instagram account. Number 1. Deactivated her Instagram account? Again! Once again, Britney has recently deactivated her Instagram account. So it was deactivated before, she came back, it was deactivated again. It's been deactivated quite a few times in the last little while. I think in like the last three to six months, she's deactivated it multiple times. This one comes after not just the live debacle with Sam, but also after she chose to show love to both her sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, and her two sons, who she currently seems to be estranged from, that she shares with ex-husband Kevin Federline, Jaden James, and Sean Preston. We don't 
know yet what is going on or if she will be back, but considering that Britney has always seemed to see her Instagram as an outlet, as a place where she can be silly and happy freely, a place to express herself, some see this as a possible sign that someone is controlling or manipulating her from behind the scenes. Or you could look at it another way, that she's not in control so she's deactivated it to try to take some kind of control. Spears still hasn't shared why she chose to deactivate her Instagram this time around, if it even was her, but her husband has continued to claim that Spears is the person who's actually in control of it. Although you know, a lot of people are questioning that is even true. Justin Timberlake. Prime your river bro, of course you're not going to be invited to the wedding. No exes. The longtime friend and fellow musketeer was not invited. The 2002 breakup, of course, we all remember, although that was 20 years ago. 20 years ago. 20. That feels like last week I saw them on TV. Nope, I was 11 years old. Just me and my jean fedora. I wonder where that went. Imagine if they stayed together. Beyonce and Jay who? Imagine they both perform at their own wedding. I want to know what the rehearsal was like. I mean, we've seen the Super Bowl shows. Imagine being a groom and hearing Justin Timberlake is in the third row, just stands up mid ceremony in his suit and tie. I object your honor, or whatever the word is. I don't know, but I say no. But let's see how many more big shiny tunes I can slip seamlessly into the script, shall we? Number nine, Fred Durst. No way, yeah! Fred Durst, AKA Limp Biscuit. yeah, not invited. Although these two didn't date, or that's what Britney Spears claims around 2003 when the rumors surfaced of their first relationship, the one-sided fling in 2003 wasn't enough to get himself a beautifully handcrafted, handwritten invitation from one of Britney's numerous assistants. Chicken, fish, or hot dog flavored water. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm not, I'll take that one. Spears denies the rumors that the two were even exclusive and seems to be more one-sided on his side. What do you think? Did she date him or not? Nah? I say nah. I wonder if Fred was disappointed that he couldn't show up in his custom, freshly ironed, perfectly tailored, red fullback hat. I hope Lids had enough for his groomsmen on his special day. Well, a couple special days, but life's life, we keep it rolling, baby. Kevin Federline, K Fed, K Swiss, the Fedster, the Fed X himself. Huh? Kevin Federline was definitely not invited to Britney's wedding. The ex-husband of Britney Spears and father of her two children, Sean and Jaden, wasn't seen at Spears' wedding on June 9th. He was not at the wedding, making for an uncomfortable open bar and dance floor. Imagine crew members of You Got Served battling at her wedding for street cred. That would actually be pretty sick. Until someone knocks the wind out of themselves doing a windmill after coffee service. Yeah. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. No, 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 seriously, I can't breathe. Uh, come here, Nana. No, no, seriously, I, I can't breathe. I'll be over there at the crab cake stand beside Nana. Chris Angel, come on. This is an obvious one. Imagine your special day, guys just asking every one of your second cousins to pick a card. And then all of a sudden, granddad is on the roof. Mind freak! Chris Angel did not appear or reappear at Spears' wedding last week. In fact, the escapeologist, the escapeologist? Where do we find these titles from? Guess he got tired of writing, yeah, I do tricks on his taxes. Angel's relationship with Spears, nothing more than a casual turning her into birds. You heard that right. He was planning on turning Spears into a bunch of birds at their 2007 VMA awards. Here we are the whole time thinking that this was a secret fling between the two. Nope, just brainstorming toucans or pigeons. I don't think that qualifies you for a wedding invite, bro. Sorry, mind freak. Jamie Lynn Spears. Okay, now it's time to dive into some family drama. Jamie Lynn Spears, younger sister to Britney, was not seen on the guest list at this wedding. Mom and sister not invited to the wedding? That's an uncomfortable car ride home. Well, actually there wasn't even a car ride home since the shotgun wedding was held at Spears' quaint, subtle $11.8 million LA home. Nice, nice cheap quiet one, huh? Nothing fancy. Jamie Lynn sharing her personal family history across a multitude of magazines over the years, highlighting some of the mess that she and the family had acquired through her sister's fame. Since the day I was born, I've only adored and supported my sister. Jamie Lynn shares about her sister. I mean, this is my big freaking sister. Lynn comments on years of the family's controversial feud over Britney's conservatorship. Yeah, I wouldn't be inviting my sister and mother to my wedding either if they both had their hands in my pockets. Just gifting you with your own money. It's 150 a plate, right? Ah, who cares? Sean Preston and Jaden James. Britney Spears' two sons with former husband Kevin Federline were not seen at her and her spouse Sam Ashgar's wedding. That's cold. Yeah, that's cold. Your two sons not at your own wedding? What happened there? The truth, 
A heartbreaking sentiment for their mother. Kevin Federline, ex-husband, issued a public statement about their boys saying that the boys had declined the invite to their mother's special day, insisting that they were nervous about taking away the focus from the bride and the groom on their special day. That's sweet, come on. Those are good boys. That's a mature and probably really hard decision that they had to make. Or they just wanted to stay home and play Call of Duty instead of hearing five hours of speeches. Yeah, I can understand that as well. Don't worry boys, we'll get him next time. Jason Gross. Alexander, Gross. Brittany's ex-husband. This one's good. Jason Alexander, Brittany's ex-husband of 55 hours. Dude really should have been at the event, no? I don't even know if that should have been on the news. I've waited longer in hospitals for an x-ray than the entirety of that marriage. Come on, that's a waste of money, for real. We reserved a perfectly good DJ for the night. Like, what happened in the hours between I do and I don't? Mm, guy doesn't eat his crusts, I knew it. But this is where it gets interesting. He crashed the wedding. Not only did this man lose the love of his life faster than a cricket game, he was charged with trespassing, vandalism, and two counts of battery at her wedding. Whoa, 2004 is like 18 years ago, man. Let it go. Jason took to Instagram publicly streaming his attempt to crash the wedding, but after some noogies and some name calling, he was quickly escorted off the premises, hands in cuffs. He should have just sat outside the venue with a boom box. I'm stronger than yesterday. I, I don't know, it might have worked. Lynn Spears. So far, it doesn't seem like this is the family type of wedding. Not the Nana twisting to shout on the dance floor kind of thing. Lynn Spears, AKA mom, AKA Britney Spears mom, wasn't at her wedding. Uh-oh, we all love a sentimental speech. You look radiant and so happy. Your wedding is the dream wedding and having it at your home makes it so sentimental, so special and I'm so happy for you. I love you. Short and sweet and not in person. Lynn comments on Britney's Instagram publicly sharing what she feels about her daughter's big day. This had been way easier and quicker. Imagine all your family members having like 122 characters expressing how they feel for you instead of a painful 39 minute speech about the time in grade three that no one knows about. Dude, I wanna dance and eat cake. Let's go people, hurry it up. Spears mother staying supportive with her comments over her beautiful daughter's big day or big third day. Number two, Jamie Spears. I mean, this one's an easy one. Why would you invite a person who has stole so much from you just to dance with him for two minutes to I'm not a girl, not yet a woman? That would have been a nice touch though. Unfortunately, Spears' relationship with her estranged father made it pretty clear and concise. Yeah, you ain't coming, dad. If mom isn't invited, the person who stole millions from a talented performer clearly ain't making the guest list. The relationship between the two, a messy feud, resorting over millions of dollars, legal fees, and court dates due to the conservatorship, consequently terminating over the years of dispute in 2021. She did it. She did it, people. What am I gonna do with the free Britney tattoo now on my back, huh? Oh, probably the same thing I do every day. Wear it with pride. Number one, a couple honorable mentions. We can't make a list of people not invited to Britney Spears' wedding if we're not gonna make a few honorable mentions. A couple of shout outs if you must, a look back at some history. Jared Leto, Dr. Morbius himself, wasn't at the wedding. Colin Farrell, Ireland's most handsome man, not at the wedding. These are just rumors, of course, that if you see on magazines, it's probably not true. But if you read that Spears was wearing a thong entirely made out of diamonds under her dress, well, then you absolutely read right. The star's personal wedding stylist, Donatella Versace herself, spent over more than 700 hours on dresses for the night. 700 hours to make, that's like a whole month of nine to five, 40 hours a week, just rhinestoning. Hey, it's a wedding, right? I just hope that when my special day comes up, diamonds are just a little bit cheaper. Maybe just a carrot, like an actual carrot. Yeah, that's my budget. Coming in at number 10, Jamie Lynn Surprise. A big point of contention for fans of Britney Spears was this clip that popped up shortly after Britney told the world during her testimony that her entire family was to blame for what happened to her. In an Instagram caption though, she zeroed in on Jamie Lynn performing remixes at her shows. At the 2017 Radio Disney Music Awards, Jamie Lynn performed a mix of Britney's songs. And in response, Britney said, I don't like that my sister showed up at an award show and performed my songs to remixes. My so-called support system hurt me deeply. This conservative 
conservatorship killed my dreams. So all I have is hope, and hope is the only thing in this world that is very hard to kill, yet people still try. I didn't like the way the documentaries bring up humiliating moments from the past. I'm way past all that and have been for a long time. Coming to number nine, creeping her Instagram. Jamie Lynn got in more trouble after her husband was caught peeping one of Britney's latest Instagram posts. Her husband, Jamie Watson, could be seen in an image that was posted by Jamie Lynn checking out a post from his sister-in-law. Eagle-eyed supporters of the Free Britney movement noticed that he was looking at this post from Britney that said, do you know what really turns me on? What I find incredibly sexy? Kindness. What fans were upset about though was that her husband was checking out a post that was literally smack dab in the middle of two pictures where Britney was topless. And then what didn't help Jamie Lynn was that after all of these comments flooded in pointing this out, she reposted the picture and then covered his phone up. In the pic, she blocks his phone out and writes, he's always working. Coming to number eight, the Justin breakup. During Jamie Lynn's interview on the Call Her Daddy podcast, she spoke about Justin Timberlake and Britney's breakup. Reflecting on how much this split broke her sister's heart, she said, I think everyone thought it was forever. I was so sad. First off, because my sister was so sad, but that too was the first time I saw that maybe I didn't know everything about the relationship. Perhaps they were protecting me and obviously why would they talk to me about anything? However, Britney's side of the story was much different and this again caused Britney's fans to hate Jamie Lynn even more. In a post by Britney Spears, she said, I flew home to Jamie Lynn on the couch watching her TV shows right after Justin and I broke up. I was a ghost there. I had worked my whole life and I didn't know how to be served by mama. Sit there and get served the chocolate milkshakes with the perfectly crushed ice with a secret chunky sugar. Meanwhile, Jamie Lynn is 12. She indulges with the TV for hours, then goes to lay it on a raft at the pool. I'm in shock because this was never my life. Justin's family was all I knew for many years. Things were different now and Jamie Lynn had a new Nickelodeon show. All I remember saying was, damn, how the hell does a 12 year old land a Nickelodeon show? Coming number seven, saying she's broke. Another main topic of conversation on this podcast was Jamie Lynn's source of income. Because among other accusations, the main thing people claim is that she was on Britney's payroll during the conservatorship. She did confirm that she had to fight to get her own money from her parents when she was pregnant because while she was on Zoe 101, they basically had her on just an allowance and I'm sure they were just banking or spending the rest of the money themselves. However, it was the moment in the podcast when she called herself broke that really angered some Britney fans. Coming in number six, not caring enough before. In the days following Britney's emotional plea for her release from this conservatorship, Jamie Lynn said that she wanted nothing but happiness for herself sister and that she always has and always will support her. In a series of videos that were posted to her Instagram stories, she said, Hey everybody, I just want to take a second to address a few things. The only reason I have him before is because I felt like until my sister was able to speak for herself and say what she felt she needed to say publicly, that it wasn't my place and it wasn't the right thing to do. But now that she's very clearly spoken and said what she needed to say, I feel like I can follow her lead and say what I feel I need to say. I mean, at least she wasn't speaking through some legal jargon using a lawyer to come out with this statement. But We'll give her that for just starters, but nonetheless, she continued by saying, I think it's extremely clear since the day I was born, I have only loved, adored, and supported my sister. I mean, this is my freaking big sister before any of this BS. I don't care if she wants to run away to the rainforest and have a zillion babies in the middle of nowhere, or if she wants to come back and dominate the world the way she has done so many times before. Because I have nothing to gain or lose either way. The situation does not affect me either way because I am only her sister who is only concerned about her happiness. Coming number five, speaking to the media. Britney Spears has issued a cease and desist letter to her sister Jamie Lynn over this new book called Things I Should Have Said. Britney is claiming that she will even sue her own sister if she continues to make derogatory statements about her while pushing this new book. Her lawyer Matthew Rosengart claimed that the memoir from Jamie Lynn was ill-timed and contained several misleading or outrageous claims. Rosengart wrote in his letter, publicly airing false or fantastical grievances is wrong, especially when designed to sell books. It is also potentially unlawful and defamatory. He then adds, you recently reportedly stated that the book was not about her. She takes you at your word and we therefore demand that you cease and assist from referencing Britney derogatorily during your promotional campaign. If you fail to do so or defame her, Britney will be forced to consider and take all appropriate legal action. In number four, the testimony backlash. Back when Britney's bombshell court speech was leaked to the public, people immediately started coming after Jamie Lynn because Britney said that her whole family wasn't helping. In her court hearing, she said, not only did my family not do a goddamn thing, my dad was all for it. Anything that happened to me had to be approved by my dad. And my dad acted like he didn't know that I was told I had to be tested over the Christmas holidays before they sent me away when my kids went home to Louisiana. He was the one who approved all of it. My whole family did nothing. In response to the hate that she was getting, Jamie Lynn countered back saying, I continued to protect her until just recently when she decided I didn't need protecting and threw me to the proverbial media wolves. Coming number three, denying conservatorship involvement. When Jamie Lynn appeared for an interview on Good Morning America, she was asked about her involvement in Britney's conservatorship. In response, she said that there was a time where Britney had asked her to be her trust and will so that her kids would have someone to get them what they needed if anything were to happen. 
sure. She then added, whether she's in a conservatorship or not, that was a very normal thing, I thought. Once I realized that, you know, what, she's in a conservatorship, I felt like I just didn't want to be a part of it until maybe she was out of a conservatorship. So there was no like me overseeing funds or something like that. And if that was, it was a misunderstanding, but either way, I took no steps to be a part of that. She then maintained that she was 17 years old at the time and was about to have a baby, adding, so I didn't understand what was happening, nor was I focused on that. I was focused on the fact that I was a 17 year old about to have a baby. I understand just as little about it then as I do now. Tell me number two, the knife story. In the podcast, she said that her sister started changing in 2002, and then she described an incident where Brittany allegedly locked herself in a room with a knife and told Jamie Lynn that she was scared. She goes on to say, this was a brilliant young woman who was going through a hard time, and if she couldn't stand up for herself, then somebody should have. I wasn't an adult then. I couldn't, but somebody should have said, stop the presses, give this girl a minute. In a post by Britney Spears, she went off again on Jamie Lynn and her mother saying, I'm grown up, right? But then maybe I might need a little support. It was a People magazine cover. The people show up and as Jamie Lynn says, I was scared, F yeah. My mom was on pain medication and could barely hold a conversation in the house because her and my dad split and she was more messed up than anything. I remember her sitting on the floor in a conversation and she never got up. And I'm sorry, Jamie Lynn, I wasn't strong enough to do what should have been done. Slapped you and mama right across your effing faces. Last but certainly not least in her number one spot, making money off Britney. The biggest reason that people have turned on Jamie Lynn though has to be the release of her new book called Things I Should Have Said. As I mentioned earlier, Britney's lawyer took action and issued a cease and desist letter because he believed that the book was all about Britney and therefore a profit from her situation. Jamie Lynn's lawyer, Brian J. Friedman, responded with a letter as well and said that Britney's most recent post about Jamie Lynn and her mother was vile. He goes on to say, as an initial matter in your letter, you state that Britney is going to take the high road. However, just today, your client posted vile statements on social media concerning Jamie Lynn. He then goes on to say, Jamie Lynn hopes that there will be no further postings or inflammatory letters being sent to the media beyond telling the truth and denying the allegations against her as a mother, Jamie Lynn needs to protect her children and cannot continue to be subjected to death threats and other postings insinuating physical violence against her and her family. Jamie Lynn supports Britney and as always, she hopes she can get the healing, peace and freedom she rightfully deserves. At number 10, Wade Robson. Britney Spears has dealt with a heck of a lot of drama in her life. So much has happened in the past few decades that she's been a public figure, and a lot of that drama has come from her relationships. One of the most drama-filled relationships was that with Justin Timberlake, who we will talk about later, but there was another person who was involved in their relationship that made it a nightmare, and that person is Wade Robson. The Australian dancer caused quite a bit of turmoil, so let me tell you about it. Wade was Britney's choreographer for a little while back in the 2000s, having been part of the creation and direction of a number of performances and music videos, but they also reportedly had a brief relationship back in the day as well, but it was more than just a regular relationship. It was also allegedly the catalyst behind Britney and Justin Timberlake's explosive breakup. While Brit and Justin were together, Britney had allegedly been hooking up with Wade as well, and Justin found out about this whole affair when he discovered a note in Britney's room on the night that they were set to appear on SNL back in 2002. The couple soon broke up shortly afterwards. Now nothing was ever confirmed, but with all these breakup songs that Justin went on to write about Britney, that's just a story that everyone ran with, and it hurt Britney severely. Now Wade is forever associated with Britney over the speculation, and goes down in pop culture history because of his relationship with a pop star. Yes, At number 9, yes. Colin Farrell. Not many of Britney's relationships were all that long, but one of the shortest flings that she had was with actor Colin Farrell, and it lasted only about 12 days. Back in the day, when Colin was just beginning his rise to fame in Hollywood, Britney and Colin became a bit of an item, and even though it started off as a fun time, it later turned into a sour experience for the singer both because of the media coverage of their fling and because of the way Colin treated her at the end. Their whole fling started when sources spotted the two of them at a party, demonstrating a hefty amount of PDA. According to those who were in attendance, Brittany and Colin were seriously macking on each other at that party, and this got the ball rolling on their relationship speculation. Not long after that, they were spotted together at a premiere for one of Colin's movies where they were seen holding hands. But things never really got past that stage though. After the release of the photos of the couple all over each other at that Hollywood party, Brittany went on a spree of denying that she and Colin were ever a thing. She admitted to kissing him, but assured people that there was nothing else between them. After hearing what Brittany had to say about their time together, Colin retaliated by sending the pop star a couple of joke gifts like a lousy t-shirt and a bumper sticker that read quote, Honk if you've slept with Colin Farrell. Brittany was reportedly furious at Colin for this. People think that the actor used all this buzz around his fling with Britney just to make headlines in Hollywood and to gain fame, but Britney was the one who ended up getting scrutinized for the whole affair. Now before I carry on with the rest of the list, I would like to take a moment to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far because your support really does mean a lot to us 
and your likes help the channel out a ton. At number eight, Fred Durst. Next up, we have the one-sided relationship between rapper Fred Durst and Britney Spears. Though Britney continuously denied ever having been in a relationship with Fred, the Limp Bizkit member claimed that they were an item for a short time. Fred claimed that he and Britney became an item at the AMAs in 2003, and he even wrote on the band's website about how he'd never felt this way about someone. But Britney completely denied ever having any kind of connection with him, telling sources that it was all very one-sided with Fred. A lot of people think that Fred only claimed to have been with Britney to try and claim any clout that he could for getting tied to the singer, but his constant discussions about their so-called relationship at the time, combined with his pleading with the media saying that he wasn't a liar, sort of made Britney look bad. It was all just a messy time that really didn't help anyone out in the long run. At number 7, Charlie Ebersol. Britney's relationship with producer Charlie Ebersol looked like it was going to be one of the pop star's most prosperous ones. But after a high voltage 8 months together, the pair suddenly split and it was even made social media official when all traces of their time together were wiped from the singer's Instagram page. Many hoped that after a series of unsuccessful and tumultuous relationships that this one would turn out a little more positive, but unfortunately that wasn't the case here. The couple raved about each other telling sources about the best parts of one another and how much they loved being together, but unfortunately due to Britney's work, they just couldn't find enough time to really be together. On top of that, it's been reported that Britney's dad Jamie also had a hand in their relationship's demise, so that's no fun either. Britney wasn't exactly hurt by this breakup as much as others in the past, but it did give her a wake up call about the reality of her life and that as long as her life is being overlooked and controlled the way it was, her love life just wouldn't be as successful as she would like it to be. At number 6, Adnan Galib. One of the relationships that caused Britney the most chaos was her relationship with ex paparazzo Adnan Galib. Adnan was seen as a bad influence on the pop star simply because of the turmoil that he caused in her life, both personally and in the eyes of the media. First, it was reported that her family didn't really like him. One of the people closest to the star at the time, her cousin and former assistant Ali Sims, told sources, quote, I only know who he is through him following us for the last eight months. I do not think that Adnan is a good person. I think he only has bad intentions. He has always given me a weird feeling and creeped me out. I wish he would just go away, end quote. Then came the drama behind the alleged intimate video that Adnan was reportedly trying to sell to the highest bidder. Even though Britney and Adnan had broken up by this time, he still stuck around in her life with the threat of releasing said video, and it caused yet another media frenzy. This came about shortly after Britney was put under her father's conservatorship, so things were already pretty rocky for the singer, and this really just did not help the situation. It was just casting more negative attention that Britney didn't need, so Adnan's connection to the singer was certainly a negative part of her life. At number 5, David Lucado. It's Seems like Britney has really bad luck with boyfriends and their videos because we have yet another situation where Britney faced heaps of media attention because of an ex, their actions, and something terrible on film. Britney Spears and David Licato dated briefly back in 2013, and their relationship at the time seemed pretty steady. They were seen together at a church and even with members of Britney's family, but by 2014 they were over and a new media feeding frenzy erupted when David was recorded dancing and kissing another woman. Luckily for Britney, that video was only a thought in people's minds and it wasn't really viewed because because her father Jamie bought the video to save his daughter, but things were still messy because it caused a lot of people to focus on yet another one of Britney's failed relationships. Rather than deny the cheating allegations, David confirmed them. Well, sort of. He claimed that the events recorded in the video took place when he and the singer were on a break, but if you've ever seen the show Friends, then you would know how well that argument goes. Luckily, Britney moved on from this ordeal pretty well, but having her partner get caught cheating and be exposed like that was certainly painful and did not make life any easier for her. At number 4, Jason Trawick. Britney's relationship with talent agent Jason Trawick was probably one of the less dramatic ones, but it's also shrouded in conspiracy because there are those who believe that the couple had gotten married in secret, but because of Britney's conservatorship, the marriage was dissolved under the table. The pair had started dating in 2009 and later got engaged, but all of a sudden they decided to mutually end their engagement. No drama, just poor circumstance. It was said that because of their schedules as well as different life goals, they just couldn't see things working out and so they ended things, but recently, a podcast exposed documents that alleged that the couple had secretly gotten married in 2012. A series of legal fees and documented meetings in 2012 suggests that there was some kind of marital arrangement that eventually fell through. But since no one would comment on the speculation, there's no way to know for certain. Do you guys think that Brittany got married to Jason, or do you think this is just some spicy rumor? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 
At number three, Kevin Federline. One of Britney's best known relationships was that with Kevin Federline. Britney and Kevin got married back in 2004 and they welcomed a couple of kids together, but soon things turned sour and shortly after the birth of the couple's youngest son, Britney sent her then husband a text saying that she wanted a divorce. Soon their divorce became a media frenzy and the blame started to get shifted around. From Kevin's reported partying problem to his heartbreaking confession to news outlets that he was just blindsided by the divorce, both Britney and Kevin were put through the ringer. Britney and Kevin's divorce was eventually finalized and she was awarded custody of their two kids, with Kevin receiving three days visitation, but after her public downward spiral, their custody agreement was changed in a brutal court battle, awarding Kevin custody of their sons. This is by far one of the most difficult parts of Britney's life as she expressed on multiple occasions how much she wanted her kids back. Though Kevin's presence in Britney's life brought her her children, she must also have her reservations about him because of all the pain she was put through at the time. At number 2, Jason Alexander. Jason Alexander was Britney's first husband, but their marriage was incredibly short lived as it only lasted 55 hours before it was annulled. Britney and Jason got married at the Little White Chapel in Las Vegas in January 2004, and the childhood friends got a brief taste of married life before Britney's mother had to step in and put an end to the whole thing. According to Britney's divorce attorney, the singer's mother Lynn, as well as her management team, stepped in, forcing Britney to annul her marriage to Jason, saying that she, quote, lacked the understanding of her actions, end quote. I think this was the first real look at how heavily controlled Britney's life was even then, because even her personal relationships were not safe from her family or her job. Though her breakup didn't involve anything malicious between the two of them, this relationship didn't help her at all because she just didn't get to experience the happiness she was looking for by marrying her childhood friend. And finally, at number one, Justin Timberlake. It took years for people to realize, but after getting exposed in the Framing Britney Spears documentary, people learned just how much damage Justin Timberlake did to Britney following their huge breakup. Justin essentially got exposed for the way he handled their high profile breakup, and fans dragged him for it, asking him to apologize for his actions and take accountability after the documentary looked into the way that Britney was portrayed in the media after Justin alleged that Britney cheated on him. From the paparazzi to interviews, it took an in depth look into how this media frenzy and Justin's role in the world's mistreatment of Britney affected her after their public breakup in 2002, showing that after their relationship ended, Justin made Britney look like the villain in the relationship, accusing her of cheating and essentially weaponizing their breakup to boost his own career. This prompted the media to point fingers at Britney and put a lot of pressure and blame on the singer, who really just did not deserve all that negative attention. He crossed the line by making Britney look like the villain in the relationship when in reality she did nothing wrong and really did nothing to help her since he was just a catalyst in her downward spiral. Oh, 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 o